And so then you'll do your due diligence, and your due diligence will be a tiny bit like an audit. A lot of the emphasis I see in a lot of companies that buy companies will focus purely on the financials. You're not buying the financials, you're buying the business. You're buying the people, you're buying the technology, you're buying the relationships. And in some cases, it's a massive exercise, but in others it's quite small, depending on the size and scale of the business, and what they do, and the complexity of the business. And once you've done the due diligence, um, you will either be comfortable with what you found, or not comfortable with what you found. And if you're not comfortable with what you found, but you still quite like the business, inevitably then, you probably renegotiate the price a little bit. You're saying, actually, you know, a bit like buying a house. You know, it's, uh, we sort of, we like, we love the house, we love the location, but you know what? We're gonna have to change that bathroom, that's like a nightmare, we can't have that, right? So we're not gonna pay you this, but we'll pay you this. And then, and then the seller of the house, we go, you're joking, that's not the best bathroom ever, right? So that will happen with companies, effectively. Once you've completed your, your due diligence, you kind of agreed on price, you then step into, and a lot of deals fall through, by the way, an awful lot. You'll have conversations that don't go anywhere, then you'll, you'll have a letter of intent, still don't go anywhere, or you'll have a letter of intent, due diligence, don't like what you see, due diligence, disappear. Or uh, you, you might have a, you've, you've done all that, and then you start the sale, you go to sale, sales contract process. But the contract will have terms, and the seller might not be happy with the terms. The terms might be, you know, uh, because you might have found a problem, you might have found this liability, and you might say, if this becomes a problem, you need to pay us X. No, so we're not doing that. We said, anyway, we're going to buy the business. So it's, a, it's all of those type of, you know, uh, arguments. So, um, and then also, and that, and usually what happens is, when you're buying a business, the sellers, particularly if they're smaller companies, because they're so focused on the deal, inevitably the numbers start to drop because they're taking them out of the ball. That kind of happens all the time. And, uh, and elements, the business almost becomes less by virtue of having the sale process, which, you know, uh, it's, it's a bit ridiculous, but that's kind of what happens.